Good morning, everyone. I'm Teresa Carla, Pastor Steve's wife, and I'm here with this morning's Heart Point Church announcements. Welcome, one and all. We ask if you have never before filled out one of those communications cards that are inserted inside your free souvenir program. We ask that you please do so, and when you're finished, you can drop them off in that pretty box at the back of the church on your way out. We have a lot of things coming up, so let's get started right now, shall we? First and foremost, this Tuesday, October 3rd, we're going to have our small group Bible study, and I will actually be leading it. Um, this Bible study is really excellent. It's on the book um, called God Questions, the God Questions. Very, very good book. If you do not have one, uh, please raise your hand. I think we may have a few left over. If not, um, you can see Pastor Steve when we uh, return or when you come uh, to the Bible study on Tuesday night. That will be, let's see here, at 6 o'clock here at Heart Point Church. Small group Bible study. Everyone is welcome. We'd love to have a large group for all that. All that matters. So, um, mark that on your calendar. Check mark. Now, also, another thing to mark on your calendar is this coming Saturday on October 7th, we are going to be having the Heart Point Harvest happening. What is that, you may ask, as I ask every Sunday when I bring this issue up? Well, it's a free event. Free hot dogs. We're going to have a bonfire. We're going to have all kinds of fun things. It's just a get-together for um, time with friends, uh, family, fellowship, and, of course, free food. Who can knock that? It'll be a good time for the entire family. Feel free to bring your friends, um, other family, co-workers, whomever you'd like to invite. They are more than welcome here at Heart Point Church. Also, oh, by the way, did I mention that's coming up at 5 p.m. October 7th this Saturday? Be there or be square. I'm enjoying my one cup of coffee per day, and I'm taping this in the afternoon, so bear with me because it's obviously not gotten to my brain cells yet. Okay, now, October 8th, uh, I want to mention, this is a really exciting um, Sunday guest speaker we're going to have. Her name is Nancy Fitzgerald. She's married to a physician who used to be or still is with my father's group or he has worked with my father's group in the past. Um, she is going to give her testimony. She was once an atheist. She's a very smart lady. She also played with the LPGA and she um, is really just a remarkable woman who set out to write a book. She's a scholarly um, woman and she was going to write a book about why God does not exist and in so doing she became a believer. Uh, and she now uh, heads up a wonderful organization. She'll be here to tell us all about uh, her transition from non-believer to believer and what she's doing now. So I think you are all going to really, really enjoy her testimony. And that is coming up uh, October 8th. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing about the day before, which is Saturday, uh, when we have our harvest happening. We're going to have also bounce house, bounce house for the kids. So lots of fun. I think we're going to also have, let's see, nah, I don't see that here. I was going to say we're going to have a hay ride, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that this year. So just so you know, uh, it'll still be fun. Okay, so now I jump forward to one day. That'll be October 8th. That'll be Sunday. That'll be Nancy Fitzgerald. And then coming up on October 15th, October 15th, another free event here. Everything's free here at Heart Point. We have freedom through Christ, so why not make free? Give back, right? We're going to have a free movie and a free meal. Uh, the movie is an exceptional, exceptional film. I'm sure you probably heard about it, The Case for Christ. Uh, it will be playing here on the big screen, which we will put up for everyone's enjoyment. And it's really, really, truly, I say this all the time, but I really mean it from my heart, outstanding movie based on a true story. Uh, you're going to love it. And another uh, atheist who then uh, set out to write about um, evidence against the existence of God and Jesus. And in so doing, he found out the truth and the actual support uh, that exists, which is another thing we explore um, in a small group Bible study coming up on Tuesday. So just so you know, we're, we're really kind of have a thing going here, you know, that the proof that God exists and His Son is Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and all of that is one and the same. So, there you go. Enough preaching by me, right? The pastor's not here, so I'm like, you know, acting out a little bit, especially since I'm leading Bible study this Tuesday. Pastor will be there too, but anyway, so you know. Uh, now, if you want to see any more about our free events that are coming up in the future, uh, just look and say the free souvenir program. We print them out. You might, what, might as well read them. You get to take them home. It's free. Free souvenir. Get it? <laughs> okay, I'm not that funny. I need to drink more coffee. Now, youth group tonight. Youth group tonight at 5 p.m. under the wonderful direction of Mark Hatcher. I just, we love Mark. Mark, God bless you, your wife, your children. You're just 
great, doing a great job with our youth, too, as he leads them um, to follow God and has Bible study, too, on tonight. will be, will be tonight, youth group meeting, and that starts at 5 p.m. So if you're between the ages of 12, 20, whatever, please come. It's really, really a, a good time to be had by all and really learning how to build that solid foundation for living in the true way that God intended. So now, with all of that, I'm sure you're probably exhausted. I know I am, because I haven't finished my coffee today. It's been an early morning, meaning a long day. This afternoon, because I take this as I already told you. I've got to really clear the cobwebs in my brain. But anyway, here, without any further ado, is the tremendous Tyler Roblinger, praise and worship leader, and his fantastic group, the trio. The trio, they are along with Tyler, Frank Williams, and Sean Speck. You guys go. You rock. And I mean that. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.